Well, this week, Indiana Landmarks released its annual 10 most endangered list. And as she's done for the last two years, around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond will travel all over Indiana to visit the sites and provide a deeper dive into the history and a behind the scenes look at these unique places in our Endangered Indiana series. Mary Rachel joins us now from Indiana Landmarks headquarters near downtown Indy with a preview. Mary Rachel. Gary, Indiana Landmarks has been around since 1960. It's the largest statewide preservation organization of its kind in the country. So these folks know what they're doing. And when the first 10 most endangered list debuted in 1991, this group knew they were onto something. The purpose of this list is not to to criticize uh, a property owner or to or a community. It's really to help find a solution to bring I ideas to the table to raise awareness. And we found the list to be very successful. The, the vast majority of, of, of places that we've listed uh, have been have been saved or in a, or in a state of preservation. Here's a quick look at this year's list. Bertzel Mansion in South Bend, Fountain County's Cades Mill Covered Bridge, the Jeter Means House in Gary, Evansville's stunning Holman Building in Garage, the Knox County Poor Asylum in Vincennes, Marion's First Friends Church, and rounding out the new additions, these 1850s limestone buildings in Steinsville. The three repeats include Mishawaka's Cam and Schellinger Brewery, Shields Jim and Seymour, so that's where I hit those two free throws, and Newcastle's Turn of the Century Courthouse Annex. As Bill Cook once said, historic preservation is economic development. Indiana Landmarks focuses on historic properties, but at the same time in reinvesting in those properties, whether it's, you know, 250000 to restore a downtown commercial building or project the size of the West Baden Springs Hotel, which was a success story off of our 10 most endangered list. That is um, many, many millions of dollars. That interprets to jobs, whether they're construction jobs or jobs that come out of whatever that building becomes. If it becomes a restaurant, if it becomes a hotel, whatever that might be, that enhances the livelihood of the community that we all live in. And just to give you an idea of how important Indiana Landmarks work has been over the years, it's estimated the organization's preservation projects around the state have had an economic impact that easily figures into the billions of dollars. Not too shabby. Well, in the coming weeks, we'll launch year three of our Endangered Indiana series, where I'll travel the state visiting all of these sites on the endangered list to tell you the story behind the story. You won't want to miss it. Reporting from Indiana Landmarks headquarters, Mary Rachel Redmond for IBJ Media's Inside Indiana Business.